everyone, welcome to my channel 10 Ways to Wear It. I'm Alicia and on this channel I take one fashion item or one fashion trend and show you guys 10 different ways to wear it. Now the reason why I am holding these three pumpkins right here is because today I am bringing you a makeup tutorial that is inspired by pumpkin spice. Yes, we've been seeing tons of pumpkin spice latte videos, pumpkin spice videos, but I haven't seen too many that are tailored towards darker skinned women. So I decided to go ahead and do one because I am loving all the autumnal colors that I'm seeing as far as these makeup tutorials so today I am bringing you guys a video inspired by these pumpkins inspired by pumpkin spice lattes from Starbucks and everything that is warm and gooey and good as far as pumpkin spice goes so I'm gonna be showing you all how I came up with this gorgeous look as you can see we have all the fall colors in the world browns oranges taupes oh my goodness and I created this look super easily so I'm so excited to share it with you all before we jump in if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now I bring you all types of fashion lifestyle hair and makeup videos and I know you will love my content so hit that subscribe button and now let's jump into all this spiciness honey oh I love this look so pretty <laughs> guys so I'm gonna be starting off with my brows of course and I'm sorry if you hear noise in the background unfortunately the tree trimmers just got here and I am NOT about to stop my video for them so we just gonna have to work with this noise but I'm gonna be starting off with my brows of course and I'm using a new product today I'm actually gonna be using the Maybelline New York brow extensions fiber pomade crayon and this is sort of like a uh, crayon that sort of releases fibers into your brows to fill them in I'm also gonna be using the elf ultra precise brow pencil in black and I'll be using the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer to clean up my brows. So let's get into these brows, honey, because they are everything as far as making this face happen. <laughs> That's why tonight I'm on the weed, not the Hennessy Lying, but I tell you how it really be Drop the game, I can sprinkle for infinity I'm the player of the year, if I do say Cause I treat a Saturday like a Tuesday Came through with the sauce for the soul food Eat good, smoke great, that's a whole mood Whole time, half time for the smoke break In the mission, from the mission for the long cake Laced up, rope chain, got my tongue tied Top down, don't let them sun dry I'm that and I said it for I had proof Can't believe it till they see it, that's a sad truth Hey, I be out of town all the time, out of blood rush Okay, so now that the brows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of concealer to my lids as well I did kind of drag it down a little bit, but I want to add just a tiny bit more So I'll go ahead and do that Just to prep for my eyeshadow We tell the lies and your rhymes where your fun's at Now I'm going to go ahead and set my eyes just a little bit and to do that I'll be using the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. This is a powder foundation and this is in the color 332 Golden Caramel and it's sort of like a light yellowish color if you all can see that. So I'll be using that to set my lids. Okay now that my lids are slightly or lightly set I'm going to go ahead and put some tape so we can get into the eyeshadow. My weed from the west, go from the south Show them how to make them triple lows Alrighty guys, so I've applied my tape And this is going to help me out a lot when I'm doing my eyeshadow Because I am sort of a beginner So this will help me when I'm doing my liner As well as my eyeshadows Now we're going to go ahead and get into this pumpkin spice look Because I want to do my eyes first The first thing I'm going to be using is the Juvia's Place uh, the Magic Palette. This is a really gorgeous palette. I've had this for a couple of years and I don't use it as often as I should but it's definitely going to work for some of the looks today because I need this orangey color, this reddish color. Those are all going to help me with today's look. So let's get into it. The first color I'm going to be going into is this one right here and this is called Kessie and I'm going to be using that underneath my brow bone. The next color I'm going to be going in with is this sort of tannish color right here and that is called Nana. So I'm going to be going in with that and I'll be using that on the upper part of my crease. 
if I do for that link up in person Text me the fault through was murder, she wrote it Still up with courage, you're doing the service Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the breast strokes you Cut throat from the low low, when no love goes Women buddy buddy like it's been dad When I'm f***ing looking at the bill stack Off the bubbly buddy and now that that's applied, I'm gonna go ahead and use the same brush that I used for the first color, Kessie, to kind of blend those two colors together and make it look a little more seamless. Alrighty, now we're gonna go into an orange that's a little bit deeper. This is called Zakia, and it's this orange color right here. So pretty. I know it's gonna be super pigmented. <laughs> Talk that good when you talk to me. Say it nice and I give it to you. you know? Alrighty, so now I want to get into some deeper shades. So I'm actually going to be switching palettes. I'm going to be switching to the Juvia's Place, the Chocolates palette. And this palette has a ton of gorgeous nudes and really warm colors in it. So I'm going to be switching to that. And I'm first going to go in with this chocolate brown color right here to sort of deepen up the outer corner. And I'm going to take it right to that tape so that I have a really nice sharp line when I pull that tape off. So we're going into the Chocolates palette. <laughs> Pink games, the mad yucks, bros. No sleeping, been a task grabbing, been a lab at it. The chief of the tribe I put on for my village. Used to be local, I'm taking it global. Drop with the focus, she catching the motion. Treat that holistic, I give it a physics. Forget what opinion, just did a show, only spit raw material. I'm independent, I'm in the building. Look what we built it, it feel like no ceiling. We Alrighty, so now that I've applied that chocolatey brown, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker color. This is like a really deep brown. So I'm gonna use that to deepen out my outer crease and and I'm also going to drag it in a little bit to create more depth and definition to my eyes. So that's what we're doing next, going into this gorgeous chocolatey brown color here. Life is lit, take a breath. Now it's, it's wild. Trip. Alrighty, that looks so good. Now we're going to go into the Juvia's Place, the Nudes palette. I want to use one color in this palette, and that is this sort of olivey brown color here. I'm going to use that pretty much on the rest of the lid, and then we'll see what we're going to do next from there. But I'm going to go into this olivey brown color and apply that. So now that that's applied, I'm just going to kind of go back and blend everything a little bit more with those brushes that I use the oranges with. I'm a little bit too consumed, but every part of my body. And I'm thinking I want a little bit more of an orangey color on the lower part of my lid. So I'm gonna, gonna actually go back into the Magic Palette and use a little bit more of that orange. Yeah, you're a little bit crazy. It's been days, but you never change. What's love got to do with it? All right, and that is definitely giving me pumpkin spice latte vibes right there. I am loving it. I'm loving the blend. If you guys can see it, it looks really good. Now we're ready to go ahead and start lining out the eyes. I'm first going to be using this Black Radiance Bold and Sexy Liquid Liner, and then I'm going to kind of smudge it out using one of those colors from the Juvia's Place, the Chocolates Palette. So I'm going to use this thicker end here. It has two different ends. It has like this marker style end and it also has this pointy end here but I'm gonna use the marker style end to line out my eyes I'm sketchy gonna blow your fuse come a little bit closer yeah I can really start over yeah in the back of my mind there's someone alrighty and the tape really helps to keep everything nice and sharp I'm gonna go ahead and do this other eye Finally got some closure, yeah, I can finally start over, yeah, so all my ladies who got a bro Alrighty, so now that both eyes are lined, I'm going to go back into the Chocolates Juvia's Place palette, and I'm going to go over that liner that I just did with this brown right here and just kind of smudge it out while I do because I want it to be sort of a, like a smudged look and I think it'll look so much prettier that way so I'm going to go into this deep dark brown color which is like basically a black brown and go over that liner your friend said that you left me I'm glad that's what you believe me ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right put your finger right in his face and tell 
All right, and that looks so pretty. Now I'm gonna go into my waterline, and to do that, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Le Liner Signature Eye Track Liner, and this is in the color Brown Denim, and it's just a brown pencil. I love this because it's really smooth, and it just kind of glides onto my waterline, so this is a really great pencil for beginners or for people who your eyes are sensitive or they water a lot, so I'll be going into my waterline with that. For so long, I've been trying to get you out of my head. Oh, yeah, but somehow I. Alrighty, so now that we've deepened up that waterline and I have my liner and everything on, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my tape. And as you can see, I have a nice sharp line there, which is great for me because you all know that, you know, I'm just learning when it comes to the makeup. Like I do, I have learned quite a bit, but I'm still learning. So using things like that tape hack and everything like that really helps a lot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes. I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be applying the new Cali lashes in the number 11 style. Here is what they look like. These are basically my standard lash. I don't like crazy extra extra lashes I just don't think they suit my face so I like to go for something that's a little bit extra a little bit natural so that's what we're gonna be doing I'm gonna apply those and I'll be right back <laughs> okay so I went ahead and applied my lashes now we're gonna get into the skin before I finish off my eyes I'm gonna be priming with the milk hydro grip primer this is like a holy grail one of the best primers I've ever used and I kind of jumped back and forth between this one and the elf uh, matte putty primer but I really love this primer I'm gonna get that all over the face. Now that that's applied, I do like to apply my concealer first because I like it to dry down. For my concealer, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. This is in the color Deep Olive. I'm gonna be going in with that underneath my eyes and letting that dry down while I do my foundation. Now I'm going to be going in with my foundation and I'm going to be using the Black Radiance Color Perfect Liquid Makeup and this is in the color Clove so I'm going to be using that all over my face. So now that that's applied and my concealer has had a chance to dry down a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and start blending out this concealer and I'll be using this sort of angled brush. This is a brush that I picked up from TJ Maxx and it is from the brand Japonesque. So now that I've blended out the concealer under my eye, I like to use whatever's left on the brush on my forehead as well as on my chin. And I love letting my concealer dry down a little bit because I think it covers better when you do that versus if you just go right in and start messing with it after you apply it. It's really messy, it's really wet, and it kind of just slides all over your face and it's really hard to cover. But as you can see, it really did cover. You don't see any streaks or anything like that. So that's a good way to not have to you know, do so much extra with your makeup. Let that concealer sit and dry a little bit. And I learned that tip from Jackie Ina, actually. She always lets her concealer kind of dry down. And um, I used to just go right in before, but Auntie Jackie taught me better. <laughs> so I'm gonna go into the forehead a little bit with what's left on the brush. I'm also gonna go on the chin. And as well as the upper lip. So now that my concealer is blended out, I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and start to blend the foundation and concealer together. All 
Alrighty, so now I'm just gonna go over my concealer one more time because I do get creasing under my eyes sometimes. So I just wanna go over it before I set it one more time. Make sure everything's nice and smooth before I go in with my setting powder. So now that everything's all smoothed out, I'm going to go ahead and set under my eyes. And to do that, I'll be using the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage in the color 332 Golden Caramel as well as the color 355 Coconut. So these are the two colors I'm going to be using. One is like a yellowish color and one is more like a tan. I like to use this one first and then go over it with this one so that it's not too stark or too bright under my eyes. So that's what I'll be doing next. Let's get into it. <laughs> So now that I'm done applying golden caramel, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with coconut on top of that to kinda make it a little bit more muted and just kinda calm down that brightness under my eyes. I'm also gonna take that down the center of my nose and on my forehead, all the places where I applied my concealer. So now that that is all set, I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face. And to do that, I will be using the Maybelline Color Stay Full Coverage Powder Foundation. This is in the color 375. It is a little bit darker than my skin, so I'm gonna kinda use it more so in the center parts of my face and to contour my forehead a little bit. So I'll be going in with that. And as you can see, it's a chocolate brown color, very close to my complexion. It is a little bit dark for me, but it's gonna be perfect to warm up my face and kinda bring back some definition. So now that we've set the rest of the face, I wanna go ahead and kinda of contour out my nose a little bit. And to do that, I will be using the Fenty, Fenty Beauty Cheeks Out Toffee Tees. This is like a cream contour and bronzer. I like to use it as a contour, particularly for my nose. So I'll be going in with that. And I'm gonna take it kind of right up to where that eyeshadow ends, that chocolatey eyeshadow, and just kind of drag it down the sides of my nose. Alrighty, and because that is a creamy product, I definitely do want to set it a little bit. So I'll be going into this Maybelline Color Stay again to go ahead and set that powder that I just used. I'm sorry, that cream <laughs> bronzer that I just used. And I know that made my contour kind of dark and stark, but I am going to go back in with the brush that I used to set my face to kind of blend that out. that is looking really really good now I'm gonna go ahead and go back underneath my eyes I want to finish off the eyes right now and I'm gonna be going back into the Juvia's Place the magic palette into that orangey color that we first used this one right here I'm gonna be taking that on my lower lash line just to bring some color to that and some definition to that lower lash line <laughs> So now that that's applied, I'm going to go ahead and brighten up my crease a little bit. I'll be using the Juvia's Place the Nudes palette going into this sort of goldy color right here just to add a little bit of sparkle to the inner corners. Alrighty, now we're going to go in with some lower lash mascara and for that I'll be using the Black Radiance Bold and Sexy Mascara. 
this is a really good mascara I absolutely love the wand you do have to be a little careful with it because it's very pigmented very liquidy but I really love it it really does go on so nice and thick and it really brings out your lower lashes so Alrighty, so to really bring home that warmth and that pumpkin spice sort of feel, I'm gonna go into my cheeks a little bit more to, with the Fenty uh, Sunstalker Mocha Mommy Bronzer. So I'm gonna be going on my cheeks with that and I'll open it and show you all what this one looks like. Beautiful bronzy color and this will definitely bring some more warmth to my skin and this is sort of acting like a blush. <laughs> So now that we've added a little more warmth, I want to go ahead and add some highlight to my cheeks. And I'm going to be using this Technic Get Gorgeous Highlighting Powder. This is from Boohoo. I've had this for quite a while. And as you can see, it's sort of like a peachy, nudie type of highlighter. It's really pretty because it's like no matter how hard you brush with your brush, it goes on really subtle. So I need that because y'all know I go crazy sometimes. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the upper parts of my cheeks. <laughs> I'm also going to apply that to the top of my forehead. I love having a little bit of highlighter up there. When the sun kind of hits your head, it looks so pretty. Alright, now I'm going to take that down the bridge of my nose. I'm also going to take a little bit of that underneath the brow bone just to add a little pop. All right, that is looking so, so good. Before I go in with my setting spray, I wanna set my entire face and I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier powder in translucent to just set my entire face one last time so that I don't have any issues, any oxidizing, none of that going on. Cause you forgot about us. Alrighty, so now that my face is all set, I am ready to go ahead and apply my setting spray. And for that, I'm going to be using my favorite setting spray lately, and that is the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set Setting Spray. I love this setting spray. It really does make my makeup last all day. It keeps me nice and matte. Y'all know I'm out there in the sun taking pictures, doing videos, wearing 20 different outfits. So it's a lot of work, and this setting spray has proved to be a holy grail because it sets my face all day. So let's go ahead and apply that. Alrighty, so now that the face is all set, I want to go ahead and do my lips. And for that, I'm just going to be using my standard nude. I'm going to be using this brown pencil liner from Amazon. And I'll also be using this e.l.f. lipstick. This is in the color Touch of Nude. And it's just like a taupey, nudie color. So I'll be going in with that as well as some lip oil. Even though I hate when my bed is empty, I don't want to be like up while pretending. So I'm going to make it easy for us both. Because I don't even want your love. Alrighty, so that is the completed look. As you guys can see, it is so warm and pretty and just very vanilla pumpkin spice latte ish you got those kind of vanilla flavors in there right underneath the brow and then of course you have that ombre pumpkin spice colors with the brown mixed in the cinnamon mixed in super gorgeous and i love the color that that fenty bronzer brought to my cheeks it was a great finish to the look i am loving this look this is totally a fall look honey and i'm feeling it all the way so cute <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this pumpkin spice inspired makeup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. I think this look was super easy to do using the Juvia's Place palettes, but if you have any warm tone palette that has oranges, browns, and taupes in it, you can easily recreate this look. So you can use whatever you have at home, but I hope those dark skinned women out there like me will definitely try out this look. I think it's so pretty for fall. It's very seasonal and it just makes me want to go to Starbucks and get me a pumpkin spice latte right now. But I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you 
so much to everybody who went ahead and subscribed to the channel. I welcome you. Girlfriend, you are going to love it here. Our little community is so friendly. It's a bunch of mature women and we got our stuff together up in here. So I welcome you and I thank you for joining and I want to thank all my regulars who always support me and watch my videos. I love y'all so much. If you only knew. But thank you all so much and I will see all of you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye y'all. <laughs>